everyone it's yesenia welcome back to my channel if i sound weird it's because i just woke up it is currently six o'clock in the morning my dog is very upset with me can you guys hold on one second um normally i sound more awake during the day i'm trying to chug some water right now because that's the first thing i drink in the morning is water um, I have my 24 ounce tumbler from Starbucks that at the very least I try to drink one of these before I have my morning coffee and my breakfast. So yeah, it's six o'clock in the morning. We woke up at 530. I just couldn't go back to sleep. And then honestly, I remembered um, I got paid today and I forgot to budget my first paycheck for the month of March. I even forgot to do a mock budget. So it's been a crazy week. We've had parent-teacher conferences. Today is actually day two of parent-teacher conferences. Um, and there's my child. So there's that. I'm just gonna pull up my March budget over here. I'm just, I feel as though I'm kind of behind on everything and oh my goodness. I will get caught up, I promise. All right, so this is, I, I'm really glad that at the very least I budgeted out the entire month of March because I kind of put it in the order that, okay, this is first paycheck, this is second paycheck. So there's that. So let me just first start out by, I'm so sorry, you guys, I'm so tired and I'm kind of out of it. Let me drink some more water. Okay, let's go. First things first, car. I'm gonna budget $250, um, upgrade, that's going to be 189.15. Capital One Medical. I'm gonna make a $25 payment. Scribd is 1061. ComEd, that's my electric bill, is going to be $38.95. I'm really hoping AT&T comes out this paycheck. It's supposed to come out this paycheck. Sometimes it comes out for the second one. It drives me insane, but I'll budget it for this paycheck. Any either way, it's budgeted for the month, so that's that's the good thing. Um laundry, $20. Groceries, I'm going to put 150. I do need to buy some groceries. I ran out of snack food. Um I'm going to budget 150 because I have 300 budgeted for the whole month. Okay, I think that's it for fixed expenses. So let me just add all of these up. Oh, and then I did have a rollover for cupcake of $36.45, uh, my $50 cushion, and then my paycheck. And then actually, I was, I think it was originally a dollar and four cents left, but I've been getting an extra dollar for my paycheck from my full-time job. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about that. Why would I? All right, $743.71 is my expected for fixed expenses. And then I have a remainder of $1,212.35. All right, so roll variable expenses. So personal, cupcake, gas, restaurants okay so for personal um i'm budgeting a hundred dollars so cupcake i have 35 oh 45 oh my gosh you guys i i i should not budget my paychecks this early in the morning it's fine though i i really do need to budget them though because i i already got paid so i need to make sure before i even think about spending any of that money i need to give it a job Okay, and then half of 150.75. So I'm budgeting $110 for her and 45 cents for the first for the first half of the month, which is great because I'm throwing a little birthday party for her. Uh, so she actually needs food, like you know her normal everyday food. She needs her medicine. I need to buy some party supplies. And then I need to buy some treats or some food ingredients to make her cupcakes for her birthday. I know, sweetie. She's staring at me. We're having, I don't know if she knows that we're having a little party for her. She doesn't even know. 
And here she comes. Aw, she's so cute. I'll be right there. All right, gas, I'm budgeting $40. And then restaurants, 100 So I'm budgeting $350.45 for variable expenses this month. And then we're going to subtract that from $1,212.35. We have 800 Wow. Well, that's because part of that's cupcakes money. $861.90 left. Um, for sinking funds, I'm stuffing a total of $182. We're going to subtract that. Is that right? No, nope, that's not right. Because they were, oh, that was a double negative. Oops. Okay, we have $679.90 left. I'm saving $4.93 for rent. So for those of you guys who don't know, um, I split my rent bill in half. So I save half my rent from my first paycheck. So that way, um, when my second paycheck comes around and it's time to pay the rent, I have the full amount instead of trying to take the full amount out of uh, my, my entire second paycheck. It just, it, it doesn't work, trust me. Okay, and then I have a roll over of $168, um, $86.90, which should leave me with zero. Okay, I'm really hoping that will become an extra debt payment. So let's go ahead and let's see if I do end up with zero by the end of this. I got negative three, so I did something wrong somewhere. Okay, I got zero. I probably just entered a number incorrectly somewhere when I did the math, but I got zero this time. All right. I am very excited. I'm really hoping to make a giant extra debt payment this month. Um, I also have some other videos. I am anticipating my tax refund either by next week or the week after. So I need to make a plan for that and I'm so excited. So that video will be coming soon as well. I, uh, I'm just gonna put this in my happy planner. My, my mom made a budget planner. And I forgot to do the weeks. Okay, you guys, hold on one second. I need to do my weeks. Okay, um, there are five weeks in March. So I, and this only comes with four sheets. I don't understand why they do that. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna actually have to make a copy of one of these sheets put the put it in here so that way I have an extra weekly check and sheet. Don't chew on my paper. Otherwise this is it's just not going to work. So, let me do that. I'll I'll update it. Um and then I'll I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll do all of this off camera. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my child is being weird. I also need to start getting ready for work. All right, you guys, I apologize if my voice sounded weird. I will make sure to not film another video at six o'clock in the morning, never again. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.